Hey guys, Sonic Smashman here, yet again for another LP and about damn time too. This time, we're doing something a little bit different. For once a racing game! Crash Nitro Kart, the spiritual successor to Crash Team Racing, and while it is decent, I do prefer the PS1 game. Now, I'm going with the Game Boy Advance version because unfortunately that's the best one I could get. It is considered the weakest of the versions as far as I'm aware, but eh. Make do with what you got. Now for this, I'm actually going to be doing two runs. One for Team Cortex, which despite being called Team Evil is Team Cortex in the console versions. And then for Team Bandicoot, that'll be my real run. Well, real is in, it's about as real as I usually go for in a run. Now, interesting thing about Nitro Kart, you can choose between each of the three razors on the fly. For now, we'll just go Cortex, because why not? And we're good to go. And yes, GBA cutscenes are pretty weak. That doesn't exactly go well there, Crunch. image looks familiar, but I'm not certain. Emperor of Elo, the 27th, ruler of this galaxy. Basically the oxide of this game, in a sense. It's supposed to say circuit, by the way, major typo. And neat little reference to the original Crash Team Racing at the end there. Back in a moment with that intro scene out of the way. Alright, I am back and we're going to be taking on the first race, Inferno Island. Now, I'm going to be doing this in a simple way. One character per world, and after three worlds, I'll just stick to my main from there on out. Of each particular team. For this particular world, Taro, we're going Tiny Tiger. Great in speed, A-OK -okay in acceleration, but turning's an absolute fucking bitch. But if you know a bit of a trick with the Game Boy Advance version, that's a non-issue. And yes, these are the exact same stats he had back in CTR. I really do want to do CTR at one point, and you asshole. Now something kind of interesting about the trophy races here, you get a little bit of Team Oxide and Team Entrance. Actually, I think it's the entirety of Team Entrance, now that I think about it. No, might actually be a little bit of both. But the point is, in the console versions, you would have a teammate with you. And if they won and you didn't, you still got the trophy. If you're playing Team Cortex, you're facing the entirety of Team Bandicoot in the Game Boy Advance version, and also some of Team Entrance, and I think Team Oxide as well. Right. Anyway. Yeah, TNTs are significantly buffed in this version. I have an Uka Uka mask, but I want to hold on to that where I can. Because I need that 10 Wampa Fruit. There we go. Oh. Hitboxes! Or as Johnny puts it, Vicarious Visions, the fuck is a hitbox? Okay. A turbo, but do I use it or not? Uh, I guess it depends on the situation when I need to use it. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, I think I need to say screw it and use the turbo. This is probably not going to end well. Comes down to this item. Triple missiles. Holy crap. Can I steal it? Yes! Now that's what I call a first race. Just steal the first one out of nowhere. Right, gonna refresh the recording and I'll be right back. Alright, I am back and now on to the next track. Man, it's been a while since I have played Nitro Kart. Jungle Boogie. Yeah, you can't exactly do the boost rhythm trick you could in CTR, which... Eh. Bit of a shame, but oh well. Alright, Oxide, I've raced against you so many times in my childhood. And I'll be racing against you a few more times in the future, probably. Because, like I said, I definitely want to do Crash Team Racing at some point. I swear if it gets a remake. Like, it needs to get a remake. That is, like, the PlayStation Kart Racer. Hell, I'd argue it's actually better than Mario Kart. Yeah, I said it. I mean, Mario Kart 8 is competition for it to this day, yeah, but at least to me anyway, Crash Team Racing is probably still my favorite racing game of all time. Like, no joke. In case you're wondering who my actual main is here, it's the same character I mained in Crash Team Racing. Not gonna spoil who it is quite yet. I kind of want to wait on getting in some more Wampa Fruit because I want to boost the shield. Because if you have 10 Wampa Fruit, much like in Crash Team Racing, you power up your items. In the case of a shield, green ones are only temporary. They will disappear after some time. And the blue one for 10 Wampa Fruit is permanent. Well, until it hits something anyway, like another racer or another item. If it hits a wall, it's still fine, but still. That's not the point. I believe you can also shoot the shield out in this version. I'm not sure about the console versions. I know in Crash Team Racing you could, and well, speaking of shields. Oh crap, Dingo is right on me, I noticed. Yeah, there are a lot of boost pads here, and barely made it. Yeah, but it's really hard to do in the Game Boy Advance version. Anyway, be right back. Alright, I am back, and on to the final track of this world, because unlike in Crash Team Racing, where there were four tracks per world, in this game there's only three. And, fittingly enough, Tiny's Temple. Pardon me while I back into this. I'm not used to having bad turning. So it's quite obvious Tiny wasn't my CTR main. It was Matt Metelli's though, of SGB. Shameless plug. Oh yeah, Wumpa Crates in this game. The GBA version actually slightly buffed Wumpa Crates. Because in the console versions, from what I understand, they only gave you three to four Wumpa Fruit. Like, actual Wumpa Crates, that is. In Crash Team Racing, they could give you anywhere from five to eight. And in this version of Nitro Kart, they always give you five. Well, unless you have more than five earlier. But on the contrary. Oh. Man, it has been a while since I have played Nitro Kart, can't you tell? I'm not even joking here, this is pretty much my first time booting up Nitro Kart in, like, ages. Uh, a 
little nervous here because Tiny's turning is complete crap. I don't know if I already mentioned it, but there's a sharp turn trick where if you hold both your acceleration and your brake at the same time, you can do a sharp turn while still keeping some decent speed. If not full speed, I'm not sure. Point is, it's really important to know that. Also, the tracks are completely flat in the GBA version, so don't expect any speed goes tracks from other speedruns of CTR. I actually did recently watch one of those from Games Done Quick. It was amazing to watch. I might actually link that speedrun in the description just so you guys can see it for yourself, because, man, I love Crash Team Racing to pieces, and I have pretty much since the beginning. You know, yeah, I'll probably link that speedrun video in the description. But, that is another race done. Let's actually see who comes up in the... Oh, there we go. Alright, so gonna refresh the recording and we'll take on the first boss racer. Alright, time for the first boss of Nitro Kart, the Champion of Terra, Kronk. Well, actually, Terra does mean Earth, so he isn't wrong. If Mega Man 5 on Game Boy would teach you anything about that. But here's the deal with boss racers. They each have a set item they will constantly use throughout the race. And that was bad. And well, there you go. There's Krogs. TNTs. Now the way he throws them in this version is a little bit of a combination of Komodo Joe and Ripper Roo in the first game. He throws them in an arc much like Komodo Joe, but like Ripper Roos, they stay on the ground. They don't explode right away. Yeah, this is probably going to end badly for a first boss. But yeah, that's what he was talk Uka Uka was talking about. If you hop enough times, you can get a TNT crate off your head. Interesting little thing about boss racers, by the way. They have perfect stats in the Game Boy Advance version. Not sure about the console version, because I don't know if they're playable or not. But I know for a fact you can unlock the boss racers in the GBA version. Uh, crap. This is going horribly. And this is a first boss for crying out loud. Uh, but don't worry, some of them are going to get much worse. Yeah, just burn the shield to get that off me. That's the easiest way to go about it. Whoa. I am getting nervous. Okay, you have to hop five times to get a TNT crate off of you. Good to know. That was way too close. But we got our lead back. Let's hope it stays that way. Just gonna put up a temporary shield because I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Right. Come on. I think we're close. Yes, right there. Yes! Alright, Krunk is down. That was lucky. It's supposed to be circuit, dumbass. 
We can now access Velo Citadel now that we have beaten Kronk, but we're not going to do that quite yet. There's some stuff we can do here in Terra. Next time on Crash Nitro Kart, we're going to be cleaning up the place. Later, guys.